to us over here in the Middle East, today's a day of all days. It's mail day. We know there'll be letters from home when one of these giant flying boats glides to anchor on the waters of the Nile. The mail is soon unloaded and brought ashore to the houseboat where it is checked by our own coastal unit. In a matter of hours now, we'll be hearing again from mothers, wives, families and friends. Carried by native staff to a waiting truck, the mail is speedily on its way to our base post office in Cairo. But all our mail doesn't come by air. Trains arrive regularly from Middle East ports carrying mail brought by sea. It's transferred to trucks in a few minutes and away it goes through the heart of Cairo city to base post office. Here, high-speed unloading and preliminary sorting are carried out. This is where rugby training comes in useful. Every parcel is listed and a carding system checks addresses. If a man has been transferred to a new unit, his parcel will still reach him. Our parcels get plenty of handling and this is what happens when they're badly packed. Repacking delays delivery, if they can be repacked. Items of clothing which arrive at the dead letter office are sorted and sent on to men without parcels who need them most. Here's a well-packed parcel, sewn up in linen, address clearly written, and contents listed, certain to reach its owner. Sorting calls for trained men who work swiftly and surely. After sorting, letters are made into bundles and the bundles placed in sacks ready for delivery to units. The letters, parcels and newspapers are off now on their last stage of their journey through Cairo Street and out into the desert. On the way, the sights of the old port of Cairo are no longer strange to us. The truck speeds out from the city and into the blue on a long desert road that leads to camp. The mail from New Zealand has arrived. Every one of us hopes to hear from someone on mail day. It may be a letter, a parcel, a newspaper. It may be weeks old, but it means we've not been forgotten. It means kind thoughts and happy memories. It's mail from home. <laughs>